please i beg of you lovelies do not click on the link that pharaoh who claimed to be the founder of whatsapp has been distributing his voice audio messages it is a malware site okay the site that is in that audio message which we hear in this video is a malicious software that can damage or compromise your device okay my people do not click on any website that is asking you to click to update your whatsapp don't do that because they are malicious and it is malware it is a malware website it is a site that attempts to install malware a general term for anything that will disrupt your device operation okay so guys you are welcome to my channel once again i greet you with your time whenever you come across this video not be smart you know yes whatsapp palava you know november 1st 2021 whatsapp will stop working on some phones so there are some people out there that have taken it upon themselves now to scam people anybody that tells you that you should click on any link don't do that to whatsapp i know is in america not in any other country okay guys let us roll into the video for more insights hey lovelies i believe by now you all know that it is no news that starting from november 1st 2021 whatsapp will no longer support android phones running operation system 4.0.4 and earlier what they mean by earlier is android phones that are produced earlier on before android phones running os 4.04 that's older phones okay so and whatsapp will no longer be supported on about 53 models of phone it will not work on android phones older android phones or android phones running os 4.04 so apart from the android phones whatsapp as well will not support some old iphones okay so let me explain what is the meaning of whatsapp because some people are just using this whatsapp 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 they don't really know what it means whatsapp is a free to download messenger app for smartphones and can also be used on mac and windows desktop it utilizes the internet to send messages images audio recordings or videos the service is almost the same as test messaging services, but it is significantly cheaper, affordable, because it uses internet connection. Mind you, WhatsApp was in established in 2009 by Brian Acton and Jan Com, both former workers of yahoo don't forget that from november 1st 2021 whatsapp will also stop running or working in, in phones like iphones running ios 9 or earlier that is iphone running ios 9 or older version all right let me just talk a little about Jan Com, whose picture you are seeing on the screen right now, the co-founder of WhatsApp. Jan Com was born in Ukraine but relocated to California with his mother and grandmother at the age of 16. He first worked as a cleaner but joined 
St. John's University after he became interested in programming but still work as a security guard. You might ask, why is Didi saying this? Yes, because of the fake rumor, scam messages going here and there that WhatsApp has been resold. Actually, WhatsApp was bought by, by Mike Zuckerberg and that was in the year 2014. So in this video, you will hear an audio of one Faroon who said he is the founder and owner of WhatsApp. In short, I don't want to rant too much. What I'm just trying to say here is that whoever or anyone that sent that video across to you, kindly disregard and debunk it. Okay? Because the two co-founders were Jan Cole and Brian Atom. And WhatsApp was established in 2009 which was later sold to Mark Zuckerberg. So Mark Zuckerberg bought WhatsApp from Jan and Brian. So guys, get it clear. Varun's voice, who claimed to be the owner of WhatsApp, as it ruled in now. Final notice, don't ignore. Please read it carefully. Hello, I am Varun Pagliani, director of WhatsApp. This message is to inform all of our users that we have sold WhatsApp to Mark Zuckerberg for $19 billion. WhatsApp is now controlled by Mark Zuckerberg. If you have at least 20 contacts, send this SMS and logo of your WhatsApp will change to a new icon with Facebook's F within 24 hours. Forward. This message to more than 10 people to activate your new WhatsApp with Facebook services or else your account will be deleted from new servers. This is the final notice. Hello everyone, it seems that all the warnings were real. The use of WhatsApp cost money from summer 2017. If you send this string to 20 different on your list, your icon will be blue and will be free for you. If you do not, Believe me, see tomorrow at 6 p.m. ending WhatsApp and have to pay to open it. This is by law. This message is to inform all of our users. Our servers have recently been very congested, so we are asking you to help us solve this problem. We require our active users to forward this message to each of the people in your contact list to confirm our active users using WhatsApp. If you do not send this message to all your contacts, WhatsApp will then start to charge you. Your account will remain inactive with the consequence of losing all your contacts. Message from Jim Paul Samick, CEO of WhatsApp. We have had an overusage of usernames on WhatsApp Messenger. We are requesting all users to forward this message to their entire contact list. If you do not forward this message, we will take it as your account is invalid and it will be deleted within the next 48 hours. Please do not ignore this message or WhatsApp will no longer recognize your activation. If you wish to reactivate your account after it has been deleted, a charge of 25.00 will be added to your monthly bill. We are also aware of the issue involving the pictures updates not showing. We are working diligently at fixing this problem and it will be up and running as soon as possible. Thank you for your cooperation from the WhatsApp team. WhatsApp is going to cost us money soon. The only way that it will stay free is if you are a frequent user. That is, you have at least 10 people you are chatting with. To become a frequent user, send this message to 10 people who receive it. Two ticks. And your WhatsApp logo should turn blue. To connect your WhatsApp with Facebook, log in here https colon slash slash apps dot facebook dot com slash with oops slash twenty two page slash question mark i seven two nine three zero zero forward this message to all WhatsApp contact. Please, guys, ignore that website. Let me clarify in Varu Pulyani's voice. He said in that audio that he is Varun Puyani, director of WhatsApp. This message is to inform all our users 
that we have sold WhatsApp to Mark Zuckerberg for $19 billion. WhatsApp is now controlled by Mark Zuckerberg. If you have at least 20 contacts, send the test messages and your WhatsApp logo will change to a new icon with the F of Facebook in 24 hours. Forward this message to more than 10 people to activate your new WhatsApp with Facebook services or else your account will be removed from the new servers, says the fake WhatsApp message. The message also goes on to add that the servers of the platform have recently been very congested. That is why they are asking for your help, that they want to solve this problem. They require their active users to forward this message to each of the people in their contact list to confirm that they are active users using WhatsApp. If you don't send this message to all of your contacts, WhatsApp will start charging you. However, my people, users should know that there is no Varun Puyani in WhatsApp. All right? So that is why I brought this awareness to you guys because so many persons sent me this message that I should do this, I should do that. And when I did my research, nothing like this. You can do your findings yourself. All these are just scammers. Nothing like Varum. Varum is never and was never the owner of WhatsApp. And also that the platform only disposes information through its official blog or social media handles. Forwarding fake messages on WhatsApp can lead to an account getting suspended or even banned. So my people, whenever you come across this video, help me to share, to create awareness to people so that they will know that this so-called Faru, I don't even know how to pronounce his name, it's nowhere near WhatsApp, let alone even being the director and now telling us what to do. So guys, I go now even as you watch the video of a security cyber personnel talking more about WhatsApp. Thanks for watching. See you some other time. Alright, so good morning friends. Um this is just for way of information. I want to pass out this information to friends. Um, I've seen people <coughs> send out WhatsApp, forward WhatsApp messages to me. I've had a lot, about 20 of them so far. Now, what it says about that message is that that is a scam. So it's what we call in cybersecurity phishing attack. So what they are basically doing is that from, from the message, they are saying that uh, one Varona sold the WhatsApp to Mark Zuckerberg, who is the owner of Facebook. Now, Zuckerberg bought face, uh, WhatsApp in 2014, and the owners was not Varon. The one Varon that you have in the message is one. They, it was two owners. One was Brian, the other was Jan. So, WhatsApp has been owned by Zuckerberg since 2014. So he's not now going to buy it. Now, the point is, what I'm trying to get out is, the message is a scam. So what they are doing is that they're asking you to click on the link to register on their server. Now, when you click on that link, your phone will go onto their server and they might pick your, your data. They might pick information from your phone. So I'm urging you, friends, not to really do that. Now, it's true that from 1st November, some phones will not be able to use WhatsApp. And it's because of, we have it, it's when you have updates, some phones become obsolete. So if you have Android, you are running a phone which has Android 4.0 and iOS, that's iPhones uh, 9, iOS 9 or earlier, that's from, let's say, iOS 9 downwards, you might not use WhatsApp. And that's true from 1st November. But please do not click on that link. If you click on that link, the chances are that you'll be giving your data to somewhere, somebody somewhere. And when checks show, my check shows that when you run checks on that link, it points you to servers in Russia. And we all know WhatsApp is in America. So please, please do not click on it and kindly share this to friends. Thank you.